Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds. Sure, no problem, Giandra LaBeouf, Black Girl Nerds. Thank you so much for your time, all three of you. Murray, first of all, you this is so full circle for me because you are in one of my favorite movies of all time. So I'm very excited to talk to you, but I'm excited to talk to you about this comedic aspect as well as you, um, Imani and Ashley. So thank you again. Beginning with you, Imani, you know, is 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 Dana as sweet as she seems, you know, she's kind of thrusting these situations. Testers have a hard road when they work for a, a gaming company. They're kind of the bottom of the total pole. But is she as sweet as she seems? Because she just seems so tender and so nice and has to deal with a lot at work. I believe she is. I think Dana is one of the few in the cast or the show, the, this characters. She has a, a, a pure heart and a pure soul. And I think that you can see that on screen. And there's this sort of like this innocence and youthfulness that Dana has that kind of grounds the chaos of the, of the office. Um, so yeah, I believe she's as sweet as she seems. She's kind of surrounded by these really chaotic characters. So it's nice to have a different tone in characters. A different tone indeed. Unlike Ashley, Ashley has a lot of opinions about a lot of things, <laughs> but at the core, you know, she's a, there's, there are things that frighten her and things that intimidate her. Is she going to be able to step beyond that and uh, maybe rise above the rank of tester and go into a different function for, for the company? I think that's kind of uh, her sort of her her struggle this season is sort of is looking at those fears and looking at the ways that maybe she barks a lot because she's afraid of of actually, you know, um, putting herself out there. Um, so, yeah, I think that's kind of, you know, you sort of get to see that this season is, is Rachel sort of deal with the fact that maybe she she talks a big game because she's sort of afraid of sticking her neck out and and will she be able to do that? I don't know. You have to watch the show. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Mur Mur Murray, I, if I have need something narrated for my life, I need you to do it because <laughs> you're so epic. What is the origin when you, in your mind, when you think about how do I want to bring this storytelling character to life? In your mind, what do you do? What is the process for coming up the, with the voice? for giving the narration or giving story for the the projects that you guys are involved in at the at Mystic Quest? Listen, kiddo, uh, it, it always comes down to the material. And if you've got good material, it's not that hard. You just, you really just put yourself, uh, put your faith in the material as it's written. I mean that sincerely. Besides, I like the character so much. He's such a treat. And in this this season, I get to investigate what made him, uh, I think, become a, a lush? He lost the love of his life, you know, this great love of his life. I'm not giving anything away, right? You've seen this stuff, right? Haven't you? I thought it was a great episode. It was just great. She wrote it. And it's just like, it's terrific. And uh, uh, it's thrilling to be able to examine a man's life all the way back to what his roots were. You don't get that kind of opportunity very often. Absolutely. And and lastly, Imani, so we'll round out with you. Who, If you could swap with anybody in the cast, who would you swap with for a day? Which character would you want to swap with for a day? Ooh. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Brad. <laughs> Why him in particular? He's just so fun. He's so evil. <laughs> He's great. That's awesome. Thank you so much for your time, all of you. I enjoyed this season. It's super duper funny. And thanks for talking again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Better shake your booties for black girl nerds.